Is this one of my favorite pistols of all time? Well, let's find out. So it's been a while since we got some of the four shot blasters. The only one that we've reviewed on this channel is the Alpha Strike Fang. And we haven't really reviewed a bunch of Alpha Strike blasters. But this one is probably my favorite out of the entire series. So Alpha Strike blasters are basically just budget blasters that were all made by Hasbro to show that you can buy blasters that are less expensive but still very accurate and very competitive and people have seen not to like these things and this is probably my least favorite nerf series it's not that bad to be honest like for kids but for people who are just into competitive nerfing there are so many better options out there and not really if people seem to like this blaster either. But today, we are going to be reviewing the Nerf Alpha Strike Optic QS4. A pullback T-style four-shot capacity blaster that comes with a non-removable scope and shoots about like 70 fps so apparently i don't have any alpha strike bangs i do but i'm at uh i'm at my friend's house so i don't have one or my friend does not have one but i don't have this at my house either but uh for size comparison here is the reflex six and it's just like it's kind of smaller but of course, this hits six shot capacity, and this is a lot better. So this is just, you know, like a fang with a better grip and a molded scope arm with basically the same capacity as a fang. The grip feels a lot more comfier. Now, these, all these Alpha Strike Blasters do not have screws in them, so they're very hard to take apart, but I heard people say that the grip in the fang was exactly the same as this, Basically, they just added plastic on here, and they were very disappointed by that because, you know, the grip sucked on the fang, and personally, I kind of don't really like the fang anymore. It just doesn't look that good, and it didn't just really appeal at all to me. It was just kind of boring, honestly. But this, this is a lot better because you get a scope to look through, and it is pretty good in the prime. Basically the same as the Fang, but it sounds a little louder, and it's just more smooth. And when you fire it, it sounds a lot nicer. It sounds a lot nicer. It's kind of like Elite 2.0 Volt, like, thing style of good. Because even though you can't really mod this, they at least made this. And the Elite 2.0 Volt, good pistols, even though they don't shoot 80 FPS, they still shoot good enough that you can have a lot of fun with them. And this... Seems like a pretty good winner in my book. Now, it definitely has a lot more, like, going uh, than the Fang. And the scope is pretty big. As you can see, there's, like, a little lens here. And, like, looking through the scope is, like, honestly, like... Because you have to pull this back and then look through it kind of like this. It's not that bad. All right, so let me get a uh, good view of the scope for you. not focusing well I don't know you get the yeah, idea that's pretty much all the features of this blaster you got a T priming handle four shot capacity and uh, you got a moated scope that is uh, kind of basically unusable but anyway let's get to the firing demo because uh Alright, we're a little far back. 
I just think it hits a little harder than it definitely hits harder than my fang. My fang is not even like not that new. You're definitely going straight. By the way, if you want good performance darts, don't use the elite darts that come with it. Use uh these dart zone darts if you can pick them up. I now I feel bad for the people who don't like for the countries and uh, states who don't have dart zone, because they're just they have way better darts. Unless if you can pick enough Aka Strike, but they don't really even make Aka Strike anymore, so what's the point? Alright. Now for some angled shots. I'm gonna go a little far back, because this thing actually hits like really good. Not like 80, but it does hit pretty hard. Like maybe 70. Okay, that was. So yeah, the top bell is the one that fires the hardest, bottom bell fires the weakest, just like pretty much any other smart AR blaster. I mean, it's definitely fun, and it's definitely a decent little pickup for what you're getting. Alright, I'm loading right now. Uh, we're gonna do one more test. And we're gonna see if we can hit the trampoline over there, because uh, why not? I don't really do these accuracy tests, you know, just maybe just for, for this video, maybe just for fun, I wanna do that. So, uh, let's uh, center line. Not even close. I need some ankle shots. Wow! Eh. Not really that impressive. When it comes to accuracy, I don't know what's been going on. Like, the Fang, even though when I use Adventure Force Waffles, sometimes the accuracy still, accuracy still sucks. And this is kind of having the same problem. Maybe just for the top shot. So, conclusions. Honestly, not that bad of a pickup. If you want a Alpha Strike Fang with a couple of little features on it, looks a lot better with a more comfier grip. And, uh, spin ability is okay. I mean, you barely can even spin it because of this, uh, trigger in this small trigger well, but honestly not that bad. The Prime is definitely, like, feels better and smoother than the Fang. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it feels a lot better. And the performance is pretty okay. So, honestly, it's not that bad. And you could definitely do better, but what I'm seeing here from this blaster, it's honestly not that bad. But that's all I've got for you today. Sorry this was a short video. My name is Kingston Chambers. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for 111, uh, 110 subscribers, or basically over 100. I have 111 as now. And... Yeah, I'm thinking about doing my top 50 video. I already have most of my list done on a piece of paper. I haven't got the video started, but it will come. It just, it's going to take a long time. But thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, peace out.